Yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Our utility deck is new, and everything has some sort of useful effect. In fact, you got your paralysis, you got your energy retrieval, basically. Um, transparency here, along with Nightmare, basically prevents the opponent from attacking most of the time. They're only going to be able to get attacks through 25% uh, of the time, because 50-50 for transparency, 50-50 for sleep. Very nice Haunter, but I only got one of them. <laughs> so the other two Haunter are Poltergeist for the trainer cards, and Nightmare, mainly for the always good coin flip dealios. I also got one version of Gengar here. I, I, it's kind of lacking in certain cards, but I wanted to show you these anyway, so I figured in, in five games I should be able to. But anyway, uh, Gengar, you can move damage counters just one per turn, but it may possibly knock it out, which could be a way to kind of stop prevention of switches, which is pretty nice. And Dark Mine also hits the bench dealios as well. Uh, the other Gengar is my preferred Gengar if I had more than one copy, but I kind of don't right now, so... <laughs> so I can bounce stuff to the hand with the Pokémon power when it comes into play, and the coin flip is like uh, Haunter and that you cannot lose on the coin flip. <laughs> it's either asleep or confused. Uh, Mr. Mime is good for stalls. Uh, both these Mewtwo are the same thing except different artwork. I figured I could use the aggro sorts of Mewtwo here with energy absorption, combining with Professor Oak preferably, to pull out to, to Mewtwo and power up the Cyburn on turn 2 on some kinds. I figured I would show you the Phantom Mew because, well, kind of, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's utility. But I don't know how well it'll actually work, so I've only got two copies of that. Because, yeah, it's it's so randomized, I would not use this normally. <laughs> it's random damage, random effect. But random damage is typically only like 10 or 20, and the random effect is like 50-50, and it might not be the effect you'll actually get one out of it, or something like that. I don't know how, how the actual values are. Uh, for Psychic Resistances, we have Meowth, because remember, Psychic is weak against Psychic. So I got Scratch, but more importantly, Earn Coins to try and draw some cards. I also got this version of Meowth, because I only have one of the other ones. So I got two of these. Bite, Fairy Swipes, just simple attacks, basically. Uh, but the evolution, I decided to go with Dark Persian, because I can not only switch the opponent's Pokémon, I can also cause poison to them, which will be pretty useful as you've seen that poison deck. Uh, Kangaskhan, draw power primarily. The rest of the stuff is pretty standard stuff, as you know, in the terms of consistent deck building. Pokemon Breeder for Gengar, Trader for the other evolutions, or just what I need in general. Double colorless for the various, well, colorless Pokemon, and yeah. Alright, so now you got the rundown. Let's uh, go go and play that challenge machino. We got Ronald here. And number one is Chip. Let's go. No need for all lightning Pokemon this time, for the challenge machine has no such requirements, and... That's not bad, actually. You'll see what I mean, how this whole Professor Oak dealio thing goes. Well, I didn't get the coin flip, but let's... I'll show you how this works. Hopefully. Hopefully. I just need one more Psychic Energy card in my hand. Preferably, I'll be able to get that with Bill. And then I'll be able to begin my Mewtwo sleep, if at all possible. But, there we go. One energy will be nice. Meowth, no, no energy. Okay, so I'm gonna have to kind of deal with that. And, well, I mean, I can still get it to on turn two. I definitely need to uh, dump my hand to be able to pull that off. There we go. Just, just basically empty everything out. So now that the Psychic Energy is in the discard pile. I can use Energy Absorption to plop it back on to Mewtwo, which I will use up to two, so I, yeah, I can't do... <laughs> and I already did my attachment for the turn, so I'm gonna have to deal with not being able to attach something to something else on the next turn, but that's just how the game rolls. Um, yeah, I don't really even see the need for that. I'm just gonna go Cyburn. So Cyburn, turn 2, doing 40 damage already with that. This was actually uh, a top Psychic 
Pokémon in the times of this meta game. So you could you kind of see why as a result of that. Uh, I'm gonna super energy removal that just to kind of do a little sneaky sneak there. Put that on Mewtwo again and Cyburn. So now Pikachu is kind of. Kinda on the energy list side. I don't know if he'll be able to get another one going there. Oh, we did it on Voltar. Okay. Ooh, Professor Oak. That's definitely gonna get him some energies there. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we'll see how this ends up being. Okay. okay just kind of focus on the extra damage to the Mewtwo, I presume. I should probably go. Well, I can't actually. I was gonna say I should probably go. Dark Persian, that's where I discarded it. So I guess I'm gonna have to go Haunter as my backup. Energy removal on the Voltorb, of course. And Cyburn to finish the turn and get another prize card. Voila! Oh, and yes, I had a much better night of sleep, so I'm feeling quite a bit better today. <laughs> Thank Arceus! Uh, I don't think you're gonna have enough time to power up that Zapdos, mister. Uh... Especially not with that. And, oops. Should get that going. And Cyber Room. So, yeah, with that, he's probably going to start just powering up other Pokemon rather than the Zapdos, because now he can't even get to the. Really? <laughs> he won't be able to get to the. The first attack, which is four. <laughs> I thought he maybe would have had, you know, like had some sort of plan to retreat Zapdos. That's why I did that energy removal, but. Now, he's, yeah, he's behind in the turns. I'm gonna go Gengar now, and I'm gonna go use the power, and I got nothing out of that. That's okay, though. <laughs> I mean, it kind of, it just happens when it comes into play, so I shouldn't say I'm using the power, it's automatic. But yeah, I was, I was hoping to hit something on the bench in general, but, okay, so now you're in, <laughs> what was the point of that? On the poor Zapdos there. I'll put that on Meowth and finish off Zapdos. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little befuddled at that, but anyway. <laughs> Grab that. It's the other Gengar. So, yeah, probably we'll be able to win this. Seems like a seems like a good chance of that, I would say. So <laughs> there you go, plop out the other Gengar. I didn't even need Pokemon Breeder for it. Everything just kind of came, came all together. And Psy Horror, it doesn't matter what the coin flip is, because it does 30 damage regardless, and Voltorb only has 30 HP. Woo! So it not only fell asleep, it also fainted on top of that. Does it count as the same? Maybe. <laughs> oh, what the heck was that glitchy? Anyway, Ellen is up next. Let's fire it up with her fiery stuff, and this might be a point where Mr. Mime comes in handy, depending on what kind of Pokémon she's got out. Because, you know, fire Pokémon tend to have a lot of attack power, so I could use Mr. Mime to negate some of that. I don't know if I'll get Mr. Mime, I'm just saying, if I do get it, it could could come in handy as a little little bit of a uh, offsetter to the attack power, basically. Ooh, Electabuzzed! <laughs> That's a pretty strong start you got there! And Paralysis? No. So it's gonna be Lick versus Thundershock, basically, at this moment in time. Um, I'm definitely gonna energy removal that, though, but I'm gonna first start out with Bill. And... <laughs> I don't even have, like, yeah. No sorts of critters. Now, that's the thing about Pokémon, is that you can always brick with any deck. No matter what. <laughs> it's just how things work. You can have one basic Pokemon and energy for the next 15 turns. <laughs> uh, I'll get that powered up in case I get a Haunter Gengar combo or something like that, but for now I don't really have any reason to use the energy absorption. I'm just going to keep focusing on trying to cause paralysis. Oh, Magmar. <laughs> this is not looking good. For my side here. Anyway, no, no paralysis. That's kind of nice, at least for my side here, but <laughs> Thunder Punch could be coming next turn, and. Mm, 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 if I don't get heads, that could be a loss. So let's go ahead and licky licky. And I got a heads. But yeah, that's, that's what I mean. It's 
could brick. It's just how the game works. <laughs> maybe in some alternate universe I lost this game at that moment in time, but maybe not right now. Um, so she's probably just going to go ahead and switch into Magmar and Smog Poison me. Probably if, she's, if she possibly can. Probably, that's her idea. But as of right now, I'm just going to keep on going for what I can possibly do. <laughs> <laughs> and paralysis hits, so yeah, that's probably game over for this Ghastly, unless I get some sort of Pokemon. And there's another Ghastly, but that's not really... Oh, maybe I should have he went into Haunter. No, 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 maybe not. Because if I went into Haunter, I would still only have one basic Pokemon with low HP. So yeah, and there's a Thunder Punch. And that is a Tail, so that's 10 damage to itself. Which is good for me, at least. But it's still two attacks to knock out that Electabuzz. Unless I can trade for a Haunter, but ooh, well... I guess... What I should probably do... Is actually... I, yeah, I could go Haunter, but... Do I want to go Haunter, or do I really want to go for something that's more... Quick? <laughs> Maybe something that can, uh... Resist the more stuff, like said Mr. Mime, and I'm thinking I should get the Mewtwo going. So I'll plop down the bench, do that, and hopefully I'll get heads. Thank you. <laughs> so, we're in sort of decent shape then as a result, because next turn I'll have one more energy on the uh, Mewtwo. Well, maybe not, <laughs> because I'm now the energy removal set me back a turn, that's the power of energy removal. And... But, oh, that's nice, too. But uh, I'm going to be able to knock out the Electabuzz. But I mean that uh, by the time that she'll be able to knock out my other Ghastly here, I'll be able to get Mewtwo going, and then I'll be able to... Oh, there's another one. And then I'll be able to sort of kind of start the sweeping, hopefully. And no poison. That is definitely good to see, considering my current situation. But, hmm, oof. I really want to show all that's like, but it doesn't work that well. Um, I'm gonna go... I think I'm gonna just lick. I was thinking I should maybe switch. And <laughs> just go straight into the Mewtwo attack. But I think I still need to stall out more, so I'm gonna hold off and see what I can do with this Ghastly. And the EV showdown deck here, though, could potentially surprise with some power, so... <laughs> um, I'm gonna plop that on this Ghastly. Remember, energy absorption and everything like that, so... I could bring back the stuff from the discard pile from that Mewtwo, so... It's effectively powered up as is. I'm just kind of making sure that I have what I need when I need it, basically. If I need it, basically, I should say. And luckily for the paralysis, though, I won't have to worry about a poison KO for Ghastly. So, oh boy, <laughs> that might be where Mr. Mime could come into play. You know, he's got a lot of attack power there. All right, Professor Oak, nice to see you there. Very, very nice to see you there. All right, so I, I was I was stalling. The whole time! Now it's time to go on the offense. <laughs> if I can. Alright, Haunter, you're going in play. Psychic Energy, and... I wonder if I should Super Energy removal that Magmar. Probably, just to prevent any sort of... Poison attacks. So, we're gonna go ahead and Nightmare. That depends on what we get here, who knows what we'll get. But either, either flip is good with the Nightmare, basically. <laughs> I decided to use that instead of the pol uh, uh, the poltergeist. I'm wait, yeah, was it? The, uh, what's, I'm getting the names confused in my own mind here. Yeah, poltergeist it was because I don't know how many trainer cards she has in her hand at the moment. I haven't seen her hand or anything like that, and it's not early in the game for her to have not dumped them out or something like that. So I thought I would just go for the status effect and said, wait a second. Um, hmm, that's interesting. Why would she put the lightning energy on that magmar? <laughs> you you tell me why. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get rid of that one fire there, and 
Should also probably... Probably... Put... This on the Mew. And Professor Oak. Because remember, Mew, it's one psychic, one colorless, so... Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> that was a pretty weird start to a game in general, especially since the way I even had to dump out that double colorless, but I think we're starting to get back in play here. And I could evolve with the Gengar, but kind of, kind of don't have to now. <laughs> and I already used up the energy card for the turn, so I think I'm gonna just assume that she won't be able to knock out my uh, Haunter here and just go for the Nightmare, keep that confusion pressure on. Uh, although, well, I was, it was confused already anyway, so... <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, oh, Meowth, that's nice. Oh, I'm fell. Dang it! <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go like that. And we're gonna go... I'm thinking I should go Gengar, and then move one of the damage counters to one of our bench Pokémon. Probably. So we're gonna do that. Pokémon Power, Curse, let's go. So we're gonna grab that. We're gonna put it on probably the Magmar. And then we're gonna go finish off this Magmar and do damage to this Magmar. So now, what this did is mathematically put him in two attack range of the curse. Because this does 30 damage. Uh-huh. So all the all of his I mean all of our Pokemon are yeah. <laughs> They're all set up to be two attack KOs now. And I guess I should at least try and show the Mew if possible. And Dark Mind, we're gonna go and put the damage counter on that Magmar. Basically, I'm just gonna try and fill up damage counters if at all possible. I'm essentially doing 40 for 3, which is not all that good, but with the Dark Mind, I could do some little tricks to, yeah, play around with that. I could even use that on the bench. Uh, smoke screen might be an issue. I'm not sure about that because one retreat cost. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I think I'm actually gonna take advantage of that just to show you the Mew. And I'm gonna plop this on. I'm thinking. Try and get the Cyber Mewtwo going. Alright. Mystery attack. What will it be? It'll probably be useless. 10 damage and poison. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. <laughs> it's usually just like 10 damage. Some minute status effect every so often. But the poison is kind of nice, so... <laughs> just never know what you're gonna get with the mystery attack. It could be a game winner. It could not do very much at all, but... <laughs> oh, um... That's tempting to try and get something off her bench. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, and I think I'm gonna do the. Whoops. Was uh, retreat because it's free. Go back to Gengar just to do the knockout. Pokemon Trader the Mew because I already got one on the field into Haunter and play that bad boy onto the field for the future in case I want to use that Gengar. And then we're gonna actually work on Dark Flareon. Because, yeah. <laughs> I could have used Curse to knock it out outright, but I wanna kinda keep the damage counters on the other, the Magmar, because it's, yeah, just kinda keeps it in a nicer range. And the Rage takes out the Gengar, but I have something in retaliation known as a Mewtwo. Let's go put that in play. And now that the, um,. Oh, I thought the Magmar was at 40. Whoops. I was gonna say, because the Magmar is within one Cyburn range, that's why I did that. Whoopsie doodle. Well, it's not that big of a deal, I guess. But, uh, I'll go super energy removal on that Magmar. Discard that on Haunter. Wipe that. And finish off the Dark Flareon. Yeah, that Rage is pretty powerful. But I didn't think she'd actually use that all outright, because I figured she'd just kind of be like, eh, eh. I won't, I'll, I'll leave that out there, it's because he's only got the one prize card left, but no! <laughs> anyway, Ellen's done, Kara's next, let's go and cook ourselves an epic meal. This is a double fire club member, and shuffle, 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 no basics. 
So we shuffle, shuffle, shuffle all day long until we get those basics again. <laughs> I was, I was kidding about the all day long part game. Please don't actually shuffle all day long. Um, I guess I'll go Meowth because the mystery attack requires two energy, as does Mr. Mime's Meditate. So yeah, and Mr. Mime's better for the later game when more powerful Pokemon are out. So we're just gonna go ahead and bite away. That Charmander, though, is, uh... It's the only critter out! Hmm... Hmm... This could be a quick game. Maybe? Possibly? Although I wouldn't comment on it. But it could be. <laughs> um... I'll put that back on Meowth and continue to bite, because maybe I can win with Fury Swipes on the next turn. Possibly. Oh, I can't. <laughs> That's unfortunate. And Tail Slap for 20. But, but, I still have backup, so. <laughs> uh, ooh, ooh, oh, um. Now it makes me wonder. Should I discard those psychic energies so I can get them in the discard pile for the, <laughs> the Mewtwo? I'm think. Well, although, wait, no, no, she energy removaled one already. Which means, yeah, which means one is already in there. So, I should probably do it thusly. Anyway, so, okay, so that will be fine as is. I'm definitely going to try and stop that 70 damage attack there. We're going to retreat, go into Mewtwo, and I guess I'll go for the energy absorption now, but <laughs> the thing about it is that uh, she gets a basic. Can't really do much about that. Oh, we win. Yay! We actually managed to beat the opponent with just taking one prize card. I'm just gonna wipe her out there really quick. <laughs> Not even bother with the other energy cards or attachment or anything like that. Just, just move on ahead. We had enough stally of a game last time. <laughs> All right, Brutus is up next, and with the fighting critters. Well, unless I'm getting a lot of colorless Pokémon, you might be in trouble here, so... I might actually want to go... Like, you know, despite him having fighting Pokémon out, I might actually want to go... and start with the Meowth, just so I have the Mr. Mime... as the, uh, psychic backup of sorts, because I'll be able to really... start knocking off damage counter- Oh, Scyther! I was gonna say, start knocking out the damage counters by, by the, uh, Meditate. Um, but I'm thinking, as long as I will have difficulties knock, pick up, excuse me, knocking out the Scyther, maybe I should go and, uh, try and earn some coins. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Here we go! Come on, heads! Yes! Come on, heads! Oh. <laughs> Chances are I'll only be able to draw one card with that each time I use it, but I could also get a zero, get a two, even higher than that, but, yeah. Just something to see what I can get out of it when I have the opportunity to do so. So I got a bill. And I got another bill. Back to back. It's like organizing your deck and failing to shuffle it properly after you've. <laughs> um, hmm. Just, should I put either of those in play? Maybe. I mean, he doesn't have the sorts of fighting Pokemon right now that are weak to Psychic, so. And I guess I could use the Mew. And... I think I'll plop out the Mr. Mime, and... Maybe I should be scratching, actually. Because if I get two more damage counters on the Scyther, I could switch over to Mr. Mime and knock out the Scyther outright. Uh, because Meditate does 10 damage plus 10 more for every Psychic Energy attached, so... Let's see if we can get that going here. I guess it's a little, little bitty surprise. Might just be doing a double colorless energy surprise on me, though. Ooh, Dark Marowak. So that could be an issue for the Meowth. Possibly. Maybe. Because the multiple bone hits. Eh, eh, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it's not going to knock out Meowth with one shot, so... Also, I should probably focus on getting Haunter out, because it's resistant to fighting. And here's the third damage counter. So now I can freely switch over to 
the Mr. Mime If I So Desire. Oh, there's the sneaky switch. And plus power, right? Oh. Okay. Ow. <laughs> and didn't get the Haunter. I actually think he should have went Mr. Mime there, but... Uh, he did a switch to Kyra, who I... <laughs> uh, well... I don't know, I just... It's kind of an interesting scenario now. See, what it did was... It's... It, yeah, it switches the Pokémon that's... Mm-hmm. Hmm... Hmm... Should I switch over to Haunter, or...? Uh, no, I should probably just meditate, actually. Because... It's it's not going to be able to knock out Mr. Mime outright, and then he's just going to end up switching me anyway. So here's the multiple bone hit again. He's going to do 20 to Mr. Mime, which is kind of unfortunate because it gets kind of away from that power in a way, and it went back over to the Meowth. So... Now... Oh... Uh, <laughs> See, it always forces a switch when it does that attack. So... Hmm... Maybe I should... I don't know, I'm just thinking, like, maybe I should go into the Haunter and try to cause it a status condition? I think I will go for that. I mean, it will cause some sort of status condition, but I mean, the idea is to prevent it from being able to do any sort of attack and continually offsetting my critters. That's why I went, oh, when you put out the Dark Marowak, because it's kind of, kind of like one of the only things a fighting deck can do against a very defensive psych psychic deck like this one, because it's just going to keep switching me into positions that I can't really continue to utilize, so to speak, like a constant gust of wind, if that makes sense. Uh, as for the energy, I'm thinking I should go on... Uh, I don't know, actually. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to put it on that Meowth, and Meowth is double damage to fighting. Maybe I should just go Kangaskhan for the draw power and finish off the Marowak with great vigor. <laughs> and now we're in decent control again, but I'm going to switch over to the uh, uh, Mr. Mime, because I got the one retreat cost. Now I'll be able to knock out the Scyther. Might as well, Professor Oak. Just kind of... Oh, why didn't I just use the switch? I'm an idiot. <laughs> I knew I had it in my hand, but... Well... Ooh, oh, oh! Well, at least I got that in play. <laughs> so that's going to be zero energy on his side of the field, then. See what I mean about that Mr. Mime there? <laughs> that's the kind of sneaky, sneaky move the Mr. Mime can do with the Meditate. And did you just say you don't have energy cards? Because that's what I heard. That, that, that's exactly what I heard, actually. Um, well, what do you say? And then we put the pressure on. And let's do these sorts of dealios. Nightmare. Maybe with confusion. You can prevent it from attacking or switching. Well, actually, it wouldn't be able to attack Haunter anyway. You know, it wouldn't be able to do any damage, per se, so... And it stayed asleep, so there's no switching, which means I get the knockout. Unless, well, did Ooh, sneaky sneaky. So Imakuni is coming. <laughs> yeah, I remember the Imakuni Dark Primate combo of his deck. Yep. Uh, but we'll see if that actually is. I mean, he's got a lot of Imakuni to do that combo. But since I got resistance to fighting, he might not be worth it. Uh, I'm gonna go to that Q bone, of course, and Nightmare. Doesn't matter what coin flip I get, it is going to be a KO. But yeah, that uh, even even though the Imakuni Dark Primate combo is kind of risky because you risk doing damage to yourself. The thing about it though is that it's also it all it has a very I mean it has a good chance 50/50. <laughs> so I guess maybe it's iffy chance, but it has a decent chance of basically knocking out whatever the poop you've got. So. <laughs> anyway, I put that on mute because I'm kind of kind of at a loss as to who else to put that on, if you think about it. <laughs> I figure with Mystery Attack, maybe at the very least I could get some sort of status effect out of that if need be. But as of right now, I'm not in bad shape or anything like that, so I think we're, 
or decent for the time being, even if I don't have the... I wonder if I should... Nah, I shouldn't super energy removal that. That just seems way, way too small to super energy removal. Um, and by the way, I haven't evolved into Haunter yet because I'm liking my status effects from Haunter. I mean, it evolved into Gengar from Haunter, excuse me. I'm gonna go with Pokemon Trader, switch Meowth to go, go for Dark Persian, and then I can go for the Poisons, if at all possible, in the future, and Nightmare for the KO. Now we're down to two prize cards. Kind of just kind of slow and steady getting there with Haunter. Oh, sure, of course. Oh, after I trade for it, I get it as a prize card. <laughs> Oops, I there. That could be a problem. But maybe not too much of a problem. Anyway, I'll pop that on Dark Persian and Nightmare. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, yeah! It's... Okay, it doesn't matter which, which coin flip I get, in all honesty. Uh, maybe Tails is a little bit better because it wouldn't be able to. Yeah, that. It can't recover from confusion, but it still might be able to switch. Oh, wait, did you just... Still no energy, huh? I see. I see. Um... Yeah, then I won't go to Gengar again, just go ahead and Nightmare. Because the Gengar won't really be getting much use from the... Uh, um, because it doesn't, doesn't have the same multi-effect that Haunter has, so it's not quite as useful in this particular situation. So, yeah, just kind of do my thing here with the Haunter, and, well, uh, I'm just gonna have to, just gonna have to, Nightmare. <laughs> I could try a Poltergeist just to see how many trainer cards are in his hand, because he might be hoarding Imakuni cards for all I know, actually, but I just, I definitely want to get some sort of status effect on the Scyther first. Oh, man, <laughs> got a fresh Scyther going on there now. Um, let's go... Maybe we could actually Comet Punch, because of how long this is taking. Okay, let's just see the Poltergeist. Yeah, he is falling into Imakuni, so that's 40 damage on the site there, baby! Yeah! Because <laughs> it didn't seem like he was playing trainer cards for a while, so I, I figured he might have a bunch of them. And since he didn't do any sort of uh, switch out there, or played any trainer cards, that means we win. <laughs> Because we know he's got four in his hand, which means we are going to be doing consistently 40 damage. Woo! Maybe I should have went for the uh, um, nightmare, as I would have maybe, you know, prevented another possible switch. But at the same time, maybe not. I don't know. All I know is Ronald is up next, and he may just destroy us with his rivalryness of doom and. Mm, mm, Hmm, I'm thinking I should go Ghastly because of the zero weakness. One Meowth, one Mr. Mime, save the other one for a traitor, basically. And see how things roll. Okay, Ditto and Eevee. Hmm, I don't... I, hmm. Is this his earliest game deck? If so, that might be pretty easy to beat. I mean, yeah, the Ditto has resistances, but Ghastly has zero retreats, so I could just go over to Meowth. Oh, yeah, that is what I shall do. Uh, yeah. Bite. <laughs> just kind of put the pressure on the Ditto in the early game. If I can get a uh, Dark Persian, that would be even better. Uh, you're just building it up here. Gonna maximize his bench, probably. Oh, sneaky, sneaky! But actually, that might be useful for me because I didn't have that many energy cards. So, and I also might be able to get the uh, uh, evolution cards that I seek. So, let's see what we got in those four. Oh, we're gonna bill. That's for sure. Switch super energy removal. Uh, hmm. I'm just thinking here. Should I go for the Fury Swipes or should I power someone else up? I'm thinking Fury Swipes because of the psychic resistances. We gotta get rid of the Ditto, basically. Oh man! <laughs> we're gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna play that game again, aren't we? Aren't we? <laughs> I mean, that that was about average. It's gonna do ten or twenty, but I mean, it was just yeah. <laughs> and oh, Hitmonchan of all things. Well. Actually, that might not be so bad. 
Ah, uh, I guess got back the ghastly. One energy card, the ghastly. <laughs> and I also have super energy removal, by the way, so I can kind of wipe out the po the potential of the uh, deadly special punch. <laughs> I couldn't think of it for a second there, so I just I just kept thinking of ways to describe a 40 damage attack power. <laughs> um. If I had Pokemon Breeder, I could go straight to Gengar, but... Uh, I think I'll go Mr. Mime. And Lick. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> um, that Mr. Mime, if I switch over to it, we'll be able to wipe out Hitmonchan. That's kind of the, kind of the idea here. <laughs> if, if at all possible, but... I don't know. Uh, do I really want to do that, or should I just keep on chugging along? Because... She might start attacking the nice Mr. Mime defense wall there, and... <laughs> I'll just lick. Because I can super energy removal then, as well. Uh, you know, and he's powering up the others. Yeah, so... I think that'll be... Oh, ooh, sneaky sneaky. Because she's going straight for the resistance. And plus power to get 20 damage out of that, I guess. Really wants that damage. Uh, the sand attack, I can just retreat and negate it. Because, yeah, sand attack, if the opponent, I mean, uh, if the defending Pokemon tries to, etc., etc., yeah. So I should probably go back over to Meowth. Although, maybe you realize I didn't have energy in my hand, I don't know. <laughs> Um... Hmm... Actually, maybe I'm in a worse position than I thought. Or maybe not. Wipe that out. And... Yeah, call it a turn. <laughs> Ooh, Hitmonlee. And... Energy removal. So yeah, he's out of energy. Then he will not get that energy on, in play once he actually gets an energy card, so... But I need energy myself, so... Yeah, recycle energy. He's always got that in hand, we know that. <laughs> um... Maybe I should do that, and maybe put my energy cards on the Mewtwo, because then I can go for the Cyburn. Possibly, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, just kind of nick away at my poor Ghastly there. And Meowth is getting that energy card this time for sure. I, I really don't want to, he's just gonna... <laughs> and, okay, probably gonna... I was gonna say, probably gonna try and prepare for an evolution or something like that, but maybe not! <laughs> Alright. So you do that. I will do this. And, oh, Bill, thank you. Thank you very much. And Haunter. Ooh! That's a nice little staller there. So, uh, we're just gonna bite, for now at least, but yeah, the Haunter there, 50% chance, remember? <laughs> I mean, 25% uh, chance, I'd say 15, dang it. I... What are you doing? <laughs> what? What are you, what are you trying to... I don't, I'm not sure I understand this movement. Um, this Flareon here, I'm, I'm thinking I should Mr. Mime that. <laughs> Uh, when it comes out, because yeah, Mr. Mime is just outside that range. So, but it's three energy for both of those, it's kind of a lot. So it's probably not much of a threat. So I think I'm gonna just go to try for the Fury Swipes and hope for two heads this time. Of course, I would immediately start with the Tails, when I finish strong! <laughs> and finally got a knockout here. Took a while, because it's been a pretty defensive game overall. And yeah, Hitmonlee is, I guess, sort of a threat to Meowth, in a way? I, I don't know, because he's so low on energy that I don't know if I'm able to get the double kick going, I'm just going to keep energy removaling it, you know? Uh, I should probably get another uh, regular, normal type going there, for the sake of uh, type variety here. And, well, well. Just gonna do 10 damage all day and all night, aren't we? <laughs> I could go over to the Mr. Mime now and meditate that Hitmonlee out of existence, <laughs> but I don't know if I wanna. 
thing? No? Maybe what I should do here is use the switch so I don't burn an energy card. Maybe I can get a Dark Persian later on. See, the Meditate's gonna do 20, 10 plus 10, then double damage. So, the, yeah, 40 damage weakness. <laughs> And see, that's why I want the versatility of stuff out there, because it's got the Tauros. So I kind of need something else that can dish out damage to said Tauros. And that's where I think Kangaskhan is going to have to come in, or a Dark Persian or something like that. But as of right now, a Tauros is kind of... Kind of, sort of, stuck. <laughs> so to speak. Uh, I'm going to retreat, though. Go to Meowth. Oops. And... This is another reason that's going to be stuck, is because its rage-type attacks are going to be too much for Mr. Mime's invisible wall. So, as long as I can get some damage counters on Tauros, it'll put it out of range of said Mr. Mime. Um, he, he will probably be able to knock out the Meowth, given enough time, but, well... That's just kind of kind of the best sort of situation I've got right now. Ooh, oh, oh, maybe I didn't. Maybe I should... <laughs> uh... I want to get the poison in, in play here, if I, if I can. I know it's not going to help with the knockout or anything like that, but I've got I've got backup. <laughs> so here we go, poison claws. I need heads here, thank you. I, mean, it, I guess I didn't really need heads, because I still get Mr. Mime it for the meditation win. Uh, but the poison will just kind of speed along Tauros' demise there. And he's just going to go for the stomp to knock out the Meowth, so... I mean, well was Meowth into Dark Persia, but that was gonna happen <laughs> if he popped in, I mean, if I left in the Meowth anyway, but it was more about the poison more than anything. Now I wonder if I shouldn't plop out the Kangaskhan and start fetching. <laughs> Maybe. Because <laughs> either or, it's gonna be a knockout to his Tauros. So, yeah. Um... Hitmonlee is still not really, still not really good to go there, so I'm gonna go ahead and fetch. You notice I didn't do the double colorless energy because I should be able to get one more energy card out of that later on. I don't need the comet punch anyway. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, so I, yeah, I mean, I, I still I have energy if I need it basically, but it's more more important I would say to just kind of get stuff set up in terms of what I can if I don't have to actually attack attack. Um, I'm sure I'll get energy cards, but I don't know if I want to... I don't want to discard the double cuddlers, you know? I don't think anything else can really benefit from that. So maybe I'll just have to put it on there and... Yeah... Professor Oak. <laughs> Professor Oak is always a winner anyway, so... We're gonna get some energy cards out of that, in general. Well, not that many. <laughs> One, but I already attached my energy for the turn anyway, so... We're gonna go Comet Punch. We preferably need three heads, but we are gonna only expect two out of this. Of course. Of course it's gonna go like that, because my coin flipping is just not there. It's just not there. Oh, Super Scoop Up on the Hitmonlee, right? Well, if you're able to use it. Hmm. Oh, interesting. So, I'm still in decent shape, then. Uh... Guess I'll go for Mr. Mime again, then. Because it's that nice invisible wall. In need, if need be, for the high attack power Flareon off on the side. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Just think of that! In the last eight coin flips, I got two heads. <laughs> Just think of it! about it! Um... Yeah, no energy. Finish off a Comet Punch. Finally. At least hopefully I was going to finish off a Comet Punch. And it's still not catching up with that average, but that was, there's was enough to knock it out that time. Uh, Vaporeon's not gonna have energy for a decent while. It's got the Focus Energy. Uh, unless he's gonna double cuddle to surprise me, but... Ooh, that's actually... <laughs> That'll, that'll mess up the double colorless surprise. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'll be able to knock out the Vaporeon based on the way that my coin flips are going. But, oh, <laughs> really? It's just, just continually messing with me. And all he does have a double colorless surprise. So he's gonna go for the Flareon. Probably just for the 
bite and save the rage for later, because I'm never going to get more than two coin flips for a turn. <laughs> um, put the Psychic on the Mewtwo, and, oops, and Comet Punch for hopefully the knockout is two. And we don't need another one, we're probably going to get we're probably going to get what we don't need it. But at least we got the knockout, so that is good. So here comes the Rage. I could potentially just outright knock out the Flareon with the Comet Punch. Ooh. But, huh? that, uh, that's... Eh, I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna leave Kangaskhan out despite the double damage there, because I, I, I might just very well be able to do enough damage to finish it off with Mr. Mime outright. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I just need one head out of this. <laughs> just one! Just, just, please, just one, any... okay. <laughs> <laughs> because then I'll be able to do 60 damage with Mr. Mime on the next turn, regardless of if he's able to knock out Kangaskhan or not. And he is able to knock out Kangaskhan with a surprise plus power, but eh. Mr. Mime will finish the job, we will take that last prize card, call it a day. And I don't even... I don't even feel like using that. I'm just... <laughs> I don't... No. We're gonna win! We're just gonna end it. Keep us three going! <laughs> and we win. Oh. Oh, yeah, shut that took too long. <laughs> Alright. Minicom. Mailbox. Let's see. Whoops. Let's see what we got. We get the Alakazam level 45 promo with alternate artwork. <laughs> well, it's not alternate artwork, it's, uh, it's actually, well, well yeah. <laughs> so it's got the Psy Panic, you can double that damage, it's similar to that uh, Kadabra, which you could do 120 to another Psychic Pokemon with that, and trans damage, you swap the damage counters around. I think I showed you this Alakazam as someone else used that before, but... Alright. <sighs> I'm thinking for the sake of deck building, what I'm gonna do here is uh, get a whole bunch of the cards that I can from here off camera, just so I can kind of build more structured decks with them and the like. So what I'm gonna do here is say uh, trade in Bill's computer with it. Oh, wait, I don't know, I was, I was thinking I would put the Alakazam, it would be at the bottom. Because, you know, it was at the bottom of the top, the top menu there, so... <laughs> Alright, so, now we got another one coming in the mail, and I'll do a couple bunch of other ones through the mail off-camera, probably. Because I explain what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we do some more Challenger Scene stuff, with even more new deck styles. <laughs>